Paddling TV is brought to you by Suspense Kayak and Canoe Storage Racks. Designed to protect your kayaks and canoes and keep them looking like new. Check out our two kayak freestanding rack for either indoor or outdoor use at suspense.com. The forward stroke that I'm teaching here is an aggressive forward stroke that requires commitment and it'll give you a bit of a workout when you're out paddling. There's probably going to be times where you want to relax and chat with your friends so your forward stroke won't be as aggressive. That's fine as long as you're staying safe and you're having fun. The forward stroke has four parts. The wind up, the plant, the rotation, and the finish. The first step to the forward stroke is to wind up your torso by twisting your belly button toward the opposite side that you're going to plant your stroke. Reach forward with your blade so that it's ready to plant at your feet and raise the other hand slightly so that your top hand is positioned above your forehead. The more vertical position of the paddle shaft allows the paddle blades to travel very close to the boat to create good forward momentum. Starting at your belly button, unwind your torso toward the side of your boat where your active blade is traveling. After the torso has completed the rotation, you can finish off the stroke by bending your arm and pulling a little. Focus more on the rotation than on pulling with your arms. Remember that pulling with your arms makes for inefficient strokes. Your paddle shouldn't travel very much past your hip. You don't need long paddle strokes, just efficient ones. Simply take your paddle out of the water after it passes your hip and your torso is already wound up ready for the next stroke on the opposite side. These tips make for a very efficient and strong forward stroke that will eventually have a lot of finesse to it. A tip to help protect your shoulders is to keep your elbows low when you're paddling forward. Don't let them wing out to the side. You can still have a great forward stroke and keep your elbows relatively tucked in. Your forward stroke should feel smooth and your boat shouldn't be bobbing up and down or thrusting forward and back. The back stroke is the reverse of the forward stroke but doesn't require as much precise technique. Most paddlers neglect the back stroke when in fact it's an important stroke for maintaining shoulder strength. To start the backstroke, wind up your body by twisting your belly button back toward the side of your kayak where you're going to initiate your stroke. In the backstroke, the wind up allows you to reach back past your hip where you're going to initiate your stroke. Notice that I'm still sitting up straight and that I'm using the back sides of my blades to initiate the strokes. Once you reach back and plant the paddle behind your hip, Unwind your torso, pushing the blade forward to your feet. Release the paddle blade from the water as it reaches your feet. Don't forget to also look behind you when you're backstroking so you can see where you're going. Try to back paddle as much as you can on your kayak outing to counter the forward pull on your shoulders from so much forward paddling. Also, you never know when the backstroke will come in handy, so it's a good idea to practice it.